Start with two beads on the shank of the hook, start your thread about mid shank behind the back bead, and bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Clip off the tag end of the thread, bring your thread back just a little ways further. Your thread should line up with about the barb of the hook. Take a small clump of peacock swords and tie them in at the bend of the hook. These should be approximately a quarter the length of the shank of the hook. Tie down the peacock swords along the shank and clip them off about mid hook. Tie in a small piece of black copper wire back to the bend of the hook, then bring our thread forward. Here we will tie in a small clump of peacock hurl. Bring this back to the bend of the hook. Now we will take the peacock hurl and twist them around the thread, going counterclockwise. As we wrap this forward, these will stay more tightly woven with the thread, making a more durable fly. Wrap these forward to about the mid shank and tie them off. Untwist the strands of peacock curl. This will allow us to properly tie them down. Once secure, clip off the excess and then we wrap our wire. Tie off the wire and clip off the excess wire. Next, we will take two white goose biots, tie one to each side with the point of the biot going back to about the bend of the hook. Clip off the tag end of the biots. Next, we will add a piece of treated turkey wing and then we whip finish. Clip off the excess thread and then we wedge the back bead onto the base of thread on the back half of the fly. Start your thread again. This time we will tie in a few more strands of peacock and begin wrapping the peacock. Try and keep the peacock at a small clump not getting too far forward because we don't want to crowd the first bead. Now we will tie on some rubber legs to each side of the fly and then we will wrap the peacock a little bit more right in the middle. Tie off the peacock in front of the legs and clip off the excess. Now we will whip finish for the second time on this fly and clip off the thread. Start your thread again in front of the front bead. Now we want to make sure our rubber legs are the length that we want them. And then pull over the wing casing and secure this down. Once the wing casing is secure, clip off the excess. Next, we will add two more strands of white goose biots one on each side angling toward the back of the fly. Clip off the tag ends. Build up the head a little bit with some thread wraps and now it's time to whip finish. Now it is time to mix up some 5 minute epoxy 
and coat the top of the wing casing with this epoxy. Allow the epoxy to fully dry and you have yourself a double beaded stone.